and welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. With me is Sophie Wilson from the soccer team. So Sophie, let's just start with an easy question. Um, why did you decide to play soccer? Um, my parents put me in it when I was younger and then I just stuck with it. It's my favorite. Um, so why did you decide to come play at Troy? Um, a lot of my friends go here and I just, I, f I went on a visit and I fell in love with it. So, yeah. um, so what's different between high school soccer and college soccer? Um, it's definitely more competitive and intense and they just, it's a bigger deal. Um, so you guys started the season at 0-3. What was the coach's message to y'all during that time? Um, he was just like, keep working hard, like it's coming. It's like, we didn't really, our preseason games like didn't really matter. He's really only worried about conference games. But yeah, he just kept he's saying, keep going, so. Um, and then you finally got your first win against Alabama State. So what was it like to finally get that first win? Um, it was relieving. It was like, okay, we can do this, like we're good. We're, yeah, we can do it. Um, and during the Jackson State game, you guys won 9-0, to zero, and you had eight different players score. So what mm -hmm. does that say about the team? Um, we definitely have a lot of talent. Like, from there's nobody who's way better than everyone. Everyone's almost equal. And, yeah, this was good seeing, like, freshmen score and, like, just all of them getting their first goals, some of them, yeah. Yeah, so you just mentioned a lot of them getting their first goals. What mm -hmm. was it like watching them get their first goals? Because... Coach O'Connor was on here a few weeks ago, and he was like, it was fun watching the players that were on the bench more than it was watching them get yeah. their first goal. So what was that like? Uh, it was it was fun. They We were all so excited for everyone. We were screaming, and, I mean, it was – everyone with the side, the stands were dead, but it was still – we were making it loud. Um, and then you traveled to Mobile mm -hmm. a couple weekends ago. You played Jacksonville State. And you tied with them, and then you lost to Alabama. Um, but what was the experience like just going up against those teams? Um, it was good. They were both really big physical teams, and Alabama had just won against FSU, so they were feeling good. And we, we stuck with them for a little bit, and then they got a penalty kick, and we kind of dropped off. But we, we did really good against both of them. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, Julia Winter was named the Sun Belt Offensive Player of the Week. What does she bring to the team? Um, Julia, she's, she's so fast and good, and... She's aggressive and she works hard, but she's, I think she's one of our best players. But. Um, and in the game against Louisiana Tech last week, you guys used three goalkeepers. Mm -hmm. I know Coach O'Connor is kind of like, um, we need to work on the physical stamina of the team. What is some of the stuff he has y'all doing to work on that? Um, we do a lot of like 1v1s and they're like, work hard. Like, if you can't get to the ball, just tackle them, like things like that. But yeah, we, we're definitely physical. Um, now, this afternoon, you guys play Florida State. You're supposed to travel there, but due to the mm -hmm. weather, they're coming here. Um, so what are some things you've done to prepare to play them? Um, it's just we're playing them, and they're a really good team. So we're just kind of going in, hoping we can keep up with them and, you know, get maybe an early goal. But they're, they're good. So. Um, now, what was going on in your mind when you heard that they were going to come here instead of y'all traveling there? Um, it's just, it's like a good opportunity, so I was like, okay, this is exciting. Like, and some of the younger players get to, like, compete against someone this good. So, yeah, it's like a new opportunity for them. Um, so what are maybe some of the seniors' messages to the team um, during this time right now? Um, just work hard, do your best. That's all you can really do. But um, And now Friday you open up Sunbelt play. Mm -hmm. um, what's the difference between preparing for a Sunbelt conference um, rather than non-conference games? Um, it's like business now. It's like you got to win, like try your hardest, work hard, but it's mainly about winning and you have to leave everything on the field. Um, so you're opening up at home. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be able to open up at the soccer complex instead of having to travel for the first game? It's, it's good. It's definitely an advantage because we need that and we need a good conference. Um, now, what are you expecting from the home crowd? Are you expecting them to show up? Mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah, I think they will. But we got to advertise it really well. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, talking about you, um, what do you do when you're not playing soccer? Oh, gosh. Um, just studying, hanging out with friends. There's not, it's always soccer. <laughs> Takes yeah. up a lot of time. <laughs> but I bet it does. Mm -hmm. Now, the volleyball coach was here last week, and he talked mm -hmm. about how the volleyball team loves Fried Chicken Wednesday in oh. Saga. Mm -hmm. Does the soccer team like to go to Fried Chicken Wednesday? Um, some of us, not all of us, though. Not all of us have swipes, so the ones that get to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so what's your favorite thing about Troy? Uh, 
my friends and the people I've met. Yeah, and the football games are fun. <laughs> yeah. So lastly, um, when are some of y'all's next games? Um, we play today against Florida State, and it's at 2 p.m., so everyone come out. And then uh, we play Friday as our first conference game. All right, well, thank you for joining mm -hmm. us. Yes, thank you. Stay tuned for what's coming up in Trojan Sports right after this.